Hi, and welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host, Matt, and today we've got the first exclusive look at AMD's Radeon R9 390. We covered a bit of the history of the GCN architecture that this card uses in the R9 390X video. So if you want to learn a bit about that, make sure to head over to that video next. Now the R9 390 and the R9 390X feature the exact same core frequency and the same memory frequency. The only difference is the core configuration. The R9 390 is equipped with 2560 SPUs and 160 TAUs. This is 9% less than the R9-390X. It does, however, feature the same 64 ROPs. When AMD's 200 series came out, the R9-290 was the best value in the bunch. It appears as though the R9-390 will follow suit. It's set to be priced over 20% cheaper, but it looks like on paper that the performance could only be about 9% slower. I know I'm keen to find out, Let's take the card to the lab and benchmark it. In Crisis 3, we saw the R9 390 average 37 frames per second, 2 frames less than the 390X, and 3 frames more than the GDX 970. In Battlefield Hardline, the 390 produced a smooth 59 frames per second, 3 less than the R9 390X, and 7 more than the GTX 970. In Dying Light, the 390 gave us a playable 43 frames, just two less than the 390X and three less than the GDX 970 in this instance. In GTA 5, the 390 produced an average of 58 frames, which was four frames less than the 390X and the exact same as the GDX 970. Finally, in Metro Redux, the 390 gave us 39 frames per second. That was four frames less than both the 390X and the GDX 970. As we suspected, the R9 390 is going to be the best value card in the 300 series line Price at $330 US dollars. In our tests, it was an average of just 6% slower. However, the price is set to be at least 20% cheaper as we mentioned earlier. During our benchmarks, the R9 390 and the GDX 970 traded blows. After averaging out the scores, the difference turned out to be almost exactly zero. So it makes sense that these cards are at the same price point. This has been Matt for Hardware Unboxed. We hope you've enjoyed our first exclusive look at the Radian R9 390. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments, and also don't forget to check out our other Radian R9 300 series videos. See you next time. Yeah.